While just about every great artist out there has what they call a signature style, I think before finding that or finding a subsequent style in the evolution of an artist, you go through different periods, like blue period, the cubist period, whatever. It's so important to reflect within yourself, see that which is unlike yourself, and try to make something, even though you may not like it at first, you may grow to. A very good example, I always come back to music. I was involved a lot in classical music. And there's, of course, classical encompasses so many things. And classical itself has sub-styles or periods of time, like the Romantic, the Baroque. Even within those, I often think of things fusion, like what if Bach and Beethoven met? Not to throw out a Bill and Ted kind of, woo! <laughs> but I often imagine artists who hate each other, who are known for feuding with, with, with each other. Like, for example, I use that term a lot, for example, because examples are very important demonstrating things. Scott Storch and Timbaland, they have this public feud thing. A lot of gangster rappers, they are known for getting it on, you know, rumble, they diss each other, and they have comeback tracks. What if they work together sooner on a track together, addressing it? Wouldn't that be a novel concept? And I know that some rappers have had reconciliations years after the fact, perhaps, but there are so many... If you think all that is that can be done has been done, that's absolutely wrong, because there is so much, so much potential in this world for your creativity and your art. I prize doing internet videos because I'm quite frankly saying things that people wish they would have said, but they're afraid to sometimes, or they're too shy. And I know this because I used to be one of those people, more of them, and because I get a lot of letters telling me that, exactly, that I'm, I'm a voice for these people. I don't view it in a sort of oity toity koyana skatsi way. I view it, though, as a simple extension of myself. And I'm hoping that in making videos like this, that I encourage you to make your own videos, to express yourself. And sure, it may come out rambling at times, it may come out incoherent, but that's just the pure, undulterated, freaking expression of yourself. And that's what you got to do to get to the nice parts. It's like when you're making songs, you don't focus on getting it perfect, perfect the first time. You have to just roll unravel and flow.